How do you sum up one of the most important relationships in your life in a five minute speech? Especially when you've had like 10 years to write it. Looking at you, Joseph. <laughs> Just kidding. Because I have so much material to choose from, I decided I wanted to break it up and say a little something for each of you. Starting with my sister. Growing up with a little sister wasn't what I thought it would be. There was always this little annoying person following me around, <laughs> trying to hang out with me and my friends, snitching on me for one thing or another, stealing my clothes, wearing them to high school. At the time, I thought it was the most annoying thing on the planet, but luckily for me, sister relationships evolved over time. Before you know it, one day you're both older, the roles have switched, and now, I'm the one volunteering to do all her friends' makeup for school dances just to hang out with them. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Sorry. Home because when we were in middle school, we had hair that went like this, and so they all. And the things she used to snitch on me for, we now do together. <laughs> She's your built in best friend. Alex. You're my best friend and biggest supporter. I've never felt alone in this world knowing that you're in it with me, and I'm so glad you found someone to share your beautiful soul with. <laughs> Whew. I honestly cannot put into words how incredibly proud I am of you. Watching you grow into the incredible person that you are has been such a joy. I just know you're going to achieve every single one of your dreams, and you're going to live the amazing life you deserve to live. I'm truly blessed to call you my sister. quiet, skinny, goofy kid with bangs <laughs> and an excessively loud car. I wouldn't be around long enough to be the uncle to my kids. I would have laughed and said absolutely no way. <laughs> my sister was way too loud, way too outgoing, just too much for him. But here you are, 10-ish years later, <laughs> louder, stronger, albeit a little less goofy. And I'm honestly so thrilled to officially have you as a brother and the best Unky Joe yeah. to Wade and Wesley. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you make my sister so incredibly happy and you challenge her in a way that only you can do. <laughs> Which, let's be honest, she needs more of sometimes. We are truly blessed to have you as part of our family. Okay, give me the cups. All done, give me the cups. Wesley, give Uncle Greg the cup. Joseph, today is the day I've been waiting for since 8th grade. We have spent the last 10 years supporting one another through the good and the hard times and growing into who we are today. And here we are, writing the 100th love, le love note of e to each other. I think this one tops all of the other ones I have written to you because it's our wedding day and I get to become your wife. I have watched in awe as you've grown into an amazing couple and dare I say soulmates. 
I admire the relationship you two have built over these many years based on love and trust. I am so honored to be a small part of the life you're creating and to be celebrating here with you today. And I can say without hesitation, the best is yet come for you both. I first met Joseph, I don't think he said but two words for about six months. <laughs> um, and then when he did, he was always like really nice. He was like really nice to Christy. He was always very polite. But he showed up to our house in this really loud car. And so for the longest time, I never trusted him. <laughs> After all these years, it's really strange that he's still just as nice. He doesn't have the loud car anymore. <laughs> And he's become a wonderful friend to our family. And I couldn't be happier to have him as a son-in-law. And then we get to Alec. Although sometimes opinionated, your mom and I are very proud of you. Your successful career, your wonderful husband, your unique ability to light up a room every time you walk in. So to Ellie and Joseph, or as they are known now, Auntie and Uncle Joe. May your life together be all you dream it will be. It's the first day I met you in seventh grade. I knew you were special. We shared many laughs. You are easy to talk to and we became quick friends. I knew that I wanted you in my life from then on, finally getting the chance to call you my girlfriend a few years later. Getting to watch you grow from a goofy teenager into a woman I love today has been quite the adventure. From all the fun times through college, weekend trips between Slow and Santa Barbara, and all the memories in between. Look Hi. beautiful. Thank you. You just you need a um, croissant or whatever the fuck you need. Yeah, I you don't see the inside. Huh? The inside. <laughs> yep, dress looks nice. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Beautiful Thank as you. always. Thank you. How was your day? Good. Yeah. Staying alive? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day already. Yeah.
Now to get to call you my wife, as Dave looked forward to since the beginning. From here on, you and I will go through many ups and downs as we grow and build our family. I vow to be there every step of the way, providing for us and protecting what we've built and will continue to build going forward, giving everything possible to build a truly loving family full of laughter, happiness that stops at nothing. I love you more than you'll ever know, and I'll never stop loving you, no matter what. Thank you for the wonderful first 10 years, and I can't wait to see where our many future years take us. Forever and always, love Joseph. I feel incredibly lucky to have you by my side for the rest of my days. You have always been my biggest supporter and best friend. I am excited to see where life takes us. I hope today we enjoy all the things we spent the last year planning and also getting to celebrate us with our friends and family. I will always be right I will always be right and promise to always be your Sparky. I love you so much and I'm excited for the next journey with you. <laughs> Allie, Cassie and I want to thank you for loving Joseph and making a wonderful life with him. We couldn't ask for a better daughter-in-law. Uh, as a parent, when you're passing your son on to the new spouse to begin a life together, you look back and assess how you did in preparing him to be a good man, a good partner, and someone who will be a provider for his wife and hopefully eventual family. Joseph, your mom, mom and I are so very proud in the young man you have become. And as your father, I can't be prouder to call you my son and look forward to our relationship growing even closer in the next chapter. Allie and Joseph, as you embark on your new life as a married couple, we wish you nothing but happiness, success, and a lifetime of memories that you will create together. As we look around the room, there are plenty of examples of high school and college sweethearts that have been together 30, 40, or more years. So you have a high bar of success to achieve, but we know that you're up to the challenge and hard work that comes with any successful marriage that lasts that long. Thank you to all the family and friends that are here to celebrate with Allie and Joseph today at this beautiful setting. It's finally here. <laughs> I say finally, not because of the year or so that planning this very special event, but because Allie and Joseph have known each other since middle school. Since that chance meeting in math class many years ago, I'd say they'd have some time to get to know each other, right? And through that time, including being together 24 seven in 2020, you both have had time to get to know each other quite well. However, getting married today is a bigger adventure, a stronger commitment, the start of a family. Ain't nothing better than Today marks the beginning of that time for you two. Joseph and Allie, I knew you are grateful for your families who raised you, that kept you healthy and happy, safe and secure, and supported you all with love in their heart. Shortly, you will start towards that success of your own family. 
working through the ups, the downs, and the challenges it will present to you. Today, your faith, your love, your two spirits start a fantastic journey. Joseph, do you take Allie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Allie, do you take Joseph to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding unto him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Your wedding rings are symbolic of your commitment to each other. They mark the beginning of your journey together. Allie, please place the ring on Joseph's finger. By placing this ring on his finger, you do this as a sign of your love and commitment that you have chosen Joseph to share your journey of life with him. Joseph, please place the ring on Ellie's hand. By placing this ring on her finger, you do this as a sign of love and commitment that you have chosen Allie to share your journey of life with. We all know in your hearts, you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another, to learn to grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to that journey you both have pledged here today. Marriage is a promise sharing the journey of two people who love each other. This journey, if you are lucky, will take a lifetime to fulfill. My heart is aching, somehow in all the right places. You make me feel like enough. I'm ever yours. Joseph, Ali, I now pronounce you officially husband and wife. <laughs> to announce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Zanoli. Joseph, uh, additionally, is probably the friend that all of our friends' parents are very happy that we're friends with. He's the stable one in the group. He's very reliable. He makes calculated steps. When a lot of us are seeing if one flip or two flip are possible from the roof to the pool, he's the one telling you no one's flipping in the pool. We're going to stay in here. Um, it's been a great honor to be your best man and your best friend for quite some time. And... Uh, We've had months, I, I brainstorm with the other groomsmen. I'm like, this is my chance. Family and friends, that big story we all want to embarrass him and the kid's bulletproof. He's got nothing. We got no stories coming as bad as we wanted to get that one. We were brainstorming, making up a story about you just to get the audience something for Christmas. But um, it's, <laughs> it's tough to get the guy. Please, dear, so happy to show.
But uh, the only time we, I could really say maybe he got in trouble, um, he received a lot of technical fouls in basketball. Do not play against him. He's very dirty. A lot of elbows. Um, and that car we've heard about, sometimes he's late to school. He's got to get completely horizontal for, for those speed bumps. Unless you're sitting in the tiny back seat, he's going to go 45 over those babies and have your head hit the roof for a couple, once or twice. All listening to his favorite song. Tyga's number one hit, Switch Lanes, which if you lived remotely near Kirby, you could hear him at 744 pulling in that parking lot, blasting that song. I was just calling to see if you're free to run away with me. Friends, we'll let them know we're safe later on. The road is calling, sun on our skin, sleeping under stars when it's gone. Ali, take care of him. He can't cook well. Um, you're lucky to have him on his on your team for life because he cheats at wiffle ball. Ali, I hope you enjoyed growing old with Joseph as much as I enjoyed growing up with him. I'd like to cheers the couple. Open up, open up.